हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू कनेक्टेड इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी रीडिंग द स्टोरी टाइटल्ड द शेफर्ड ट्रेजर व्हिच इज बेसिकली एन इरेनियन फोक टेल व्हिच विल थ्रो लाइट अपॉन द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ह्यूमन वैल्यूज लाइक ऑनेस्टी विजडम एंड ह्यूमैनिटी एंड हाउ बाय फॉलोइंग सच हाई वैल्यूज and principles a shepherd became a governor in this chapter we will learn the most basic human values which are honesty wisdom and human knowledge we will learn even after getting success a person remains grounded and honest with his values now students let's focus on the text part i shall assist you if you get stuck anywhere Students let's begin and don't forget to try to visualize it while we read A poor shepherd lived in Iran He was so poor that he didn't even have a small house Because of less number of schools during those days he could never attend school to read and write In spite of his poverty and illiteracy this shepherd was very wise He was able to understand people's pain and often helped them to solve their issues with courage and wisdom people used to visit him to find suggestions and solutions because of this ability he became popular his popularity reached the king as well and he thought of meeting him students let us continue reading on to the next part now dressed as a shepherd and hiding his true identity the king reached the shepherd's cave on a mule the moment the shepherd noticed him coming to his cave he got up to greet him he brought the traveler inside his cave and gave him water and food the king took rest and stayed with him for the night in the cave the king was impressed by his friendly warm reception and words of wisdom Okay now let's read from the part Though still tired the king decided to depart the next morning He said Many thanks for your kindness to a poor traveler I have a long way to go Permit me to leave Looking straight into the eyes of his guest the shepherd replied Thank you your majesty for paying me the compliment of a visit The king was astonished as well as pleased He is indeed very wise. He thought to himself, "I need people like him to work for me." And the king appointed this humble shepherd the governor of a small district. Although he rose to power and dignity, the shepherd remained as humble as ever. People loved and honored him for his wisdom, sympathy, and goodness. He was kind and just to one and all. His fame as a fair and wise governor soon spread throughout the country okay students let's move on to the next part now i want you to read loud and clear the governors of other states developed jealousy for him they started speaking against him to the king they started calling him dishonest and blamed him for keeping part of the tax money with him they even posed questions over his iron chest they said that it had all the treasures he had collected secretly they made fun of him calling him a common shepherd who was expected to behave in such a dishonest manner okay students moving on to the next part now initially the king paid no attention to such words but gradually he had to he did not believe that the governor carried an iron chest with him He thought that he must inquire about the reason for carrying an iron chest with him all the time. Thus, the king called the new governor to the palace. He came on his camel. Everyone was feeling joy as the most talked about iron chest was tied behind him on the camel's back. Seeing this, the king shouted in anger and asked him the reason for carrying that iron chest with him. The governor smiled. and asked his attendant to bring that chest all the people were very curious to see and find what it had inside 
but when it was opened they found no precious gold or silver but an old blanket the shepherd took it in his hands with pride and explained to the king that it was his treasure okay students we are almost at the end of the story let's finish it quickly but the king was curious to know the reason for carrying such an old blanket to which the shepherd replied in a very dignified and respectful manner that blanket was his oldest friend in times of need it would protect him if the king wished he could take his new clothing but that blanket was very dear to him the king felt very happy to hear his words the governors were ashamed now it was clear to everyone that the shepherd was the humblest and the wisest man there feeling proud of him the king gave him a bigger district to look after at that very time so class i hope you enjoyed reading and we acquired a valuable lesson from the chapter that never we should never lose your kindness irrespective of what happens and should always remain grounded i hope you may try to inculcate these values in your personality okay class now that we have learned all these new words let's use them in some sentences now i shall show you some sample sentences now later on make your own sentences with these words and show them to your teacher let's begin the fun shepherd a person who takes care of the sheep cottage a small house disguised an appearance that hides the actual form meagre quite less in amount hospitality act of being friendly and warm reception provinces states mockingly making fun of cloaks a kind of clothing embarrassed feeling of shame and awkwardness indeed in reality children now that the chapter is finished let's look at some fun exercises now you have 5 minutes to try these questions out Excellent answer students now let's match your answers with the answer sheet students now try to answer the reasons for these questions Okay guys now let's find out if you guys guessed the correct answers So that's it for today's class thank you and hope you all had fun learning